In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up automatic backups for your WordPress blog. Now, the great thing about this is that you can set it so that it sends a backup to your email. And what I suggest you do is have a Gmail account for that because you get lots of space. And then you can create a filter to put it into a certain folder. I'm also going to show you how once you have it backed up, you can restore it if something goes wrong. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin. So let's go over to plugins and add new. And we're going to do a search just like this WP DB space backup. And search the plugin. And this is the one here, so just install now. And then activate. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Tools and Backup. Okay, so depending on if you, what plugins you have installed, you may see some things over here on the right. And these are things outside of the core of WordPress. So if you wanted to back up all of these as well, these are WordPress tables or database tables for WordPress check all these as well and it will save these tables as well and you should do that if you have some on this side make sure you check them okay so now we have that now the next thing you can do is you can set your backup options over here so you can save it to your server I don't suggest that because if your server goes down then your backup goes with it can download to your computer and if you do that you're just going to click backup now and it'll back it up immediately but what I suggest you do is go email backup to and it's going to use the email address that you have in your WordPress blog but you can change this to a Gmail address if you want so use whatever address you want here okay so there it is there now when I set these up here, this is for my backup. If I do a backup now, just so I have a current backup, it's going to get these. But this is for your scheduled backup down here. Now, how, when do you want it backed up? I like to have mine done once daily. But you can change it how you like. But usually you don't need it more than once daily unless you're doing some sort of testing or something like that. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay, now I'm going to schedule this backup. So now what's going to happen is it's going to send a backup once daily to that email address. And all that's required is that somebody visits my blog once a day. And of course, if you have a blog that's getting visitors, then it's going to trigger the backup once every day. And it does that because WordPress has something in it called WP Cron. And so it uses the cron job built into WordPress. Okay, now let's let's do a current download so I can show you the restore process if your blog goes wonky on you. Okay, so I'm gonna grab all these and then I'm going to do download to my computer and do a backup now and that will download to my computer okay so here we go you see that it's collecting all the tables you have to wait for it don't reload your page just let it finish and as you can see it has downloaded it here okay now we're gonna test what happens if we need to do a restore so let's say that our blog got corrupted. So what I'm going to do is go to my control panel and then I'm going to go to where I can control my databases. Okay, and that will be PHP my admin. So whatever you're using for a control panel, your server will have a WP or a PHP my admin. So go in there. Okay, so it shows all your databases along the left hand side here. So you need to go to the appropriate database. Now in this case, as, as you saw by the file name here, it's always going to have 
the file name or the database name right there. Okay, so this is it. Okay, so this is everything that's included in that database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just just to simulate if I had a blog crash or if my blog was hacked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything out of here because this is all garbage data now. If uh, if I've been hacked, okay. So I check everything. Now down here you'll see with selected. Just go down here and click drop, and it's going to make sure that that's what you want to do. Just double check you're in the right database, and then click yes. Okay, and now if we go to structure, you'll see there's no tables in here. So what we need to do now is import our file with our database in it. Let me first let's go back to the plugin or to our website here. I click dashboard, and there's nothing here. It thinks the database is is non-existent or the blog's non-existent. So let's go back here now and let's do a restore. So we go import. And then we choose the file. Okay, here it is here. Open. And then down to the bottom and go. Okay, let's go back to structure. And there it all is back. Let's go back here, do a refresh. And here we are, everything is back to normal. Okay, so that's how you can do an easy backup of your site automatically. And if you have a disaster, that is how you can restore it.